Hello, my name is Mercury and welcome to this brand episode of Media Fay. Today I am alone and today I'll be discussing the trailer for Aquaman The Lost Kingdom. So, whew, sorry for the wait here, uh, nine days of uploading an episode? Yeah, nine days. Um, sorry about that, it's just... I don't know, I was, I was hoping to get this out literally like a week ago, but I don't know, just didn't have the, the drive to do these episodes, but now... Um, I do, and I will pump, we will pump out more episodes, uh, hopefully before the end of this month, we'll have, we'll, we'll have more out, and, uh, yeah, I mean, that's all I, I gotta say before, before diving into this, that, no pun intended, um, yeah, let's just continue on, um, Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom is the next DC movie, and there is there is a lot that could uh, it's a lot to say and there's also not a lot to say in regards to this movie um it it uh okay so Aquaman Lost Kingdom I don't have people don't have a lot of high hopes for, it, and it's in it's in a pretty tough spot right now. But let's let's go over the trailer first, right? Let's go over the trailer. So the trailer, I don't know. Just okay. There are some things about this movie that I think are actually not bad at all, really. Um, I think the fact that they're actually using Manta for this. And not like, um, they're not, uh, they're not going, trying doing another villain is something that more superhero movies should do more, uh, should do often. And that is, you know, using the characters he set up in the last movie to, to be the villain, like, like separate villains that you set up in the, in the last movie to be the main villains of this movie, of the next movie. Because, I mean, Scorpion, th th think about it, like, like in Marvel, like, Spider-Man, um, in Marvel, um, like, they set up Scorpion in Spider-Man Homecoming, and they never did anything with that character. It's like, Matt Gargan is just out there in the... In the in, in the in the MCU, just waiting to become Scorpion. Um, I hope that's. I hope he's gonna be in Spider-Man Four. But yeah, we just have to wait and see. Um, but you know, I I like that Manta is in is in, is in this movie. He's the main villain and. You know, he's, he's, he's not, I don't think they're going to do anything goo goofy with Black Manta because he's already been established. He's not like a, like a new villain. Like, he is a threat to, to Aquaman. So he's not, I don't think he's going to play for last. I think I'm going to do Manta justice. It's just that, um, there are things, there, uh, there are things in the movie that kind of, I don't know. They just seem like they're not the best idea. I don't know, just. I don't. It, it looks like a fine movie. It, the CGI looks actually pretty good. Um, I'm, it's prop. I, I'm gonna be real, real with a few people. I think this movie's gonna bomb. I, I don't think this movie is going to do as well as people would like it to do. Like, I, I, people would want it to. Uh. To, to like perform in the box office, it's I don't think it's gonna happen. I feel like with DC right now trying to, um, trying to, um, kind of, uh, restart their universe. I feel like that people know about it and the plan is there, like. 
that's that, that's the thing that a lot of uh, with, with these um thing is is that now that everything I, i've mentioned it before and i'll say it again it was like i think i've said this before that what dc did earlier this year by announcing that the dc eu will not be continuing it'll be replaced by a new universe is the worst basis idea you could have ever done ever and I, and people should and, and and like everyone knows that it's like and people probably people who who don't know probably got told by people by, by people who do know that hey look they're gonna restart DC and none of what's coming out is gonna matter so what what happens uh things bomb the only the only one that hasn't been a bomb was the Batman, which is isn't even part of the uh, of the DCU. It's part of DC Elseworlds. And next year, Joker Two is gonna come out. And what's Joker Two gonna do? It's gonna perform well because people like the first one. And it's not tied to anything, so you don't have to watch a billion different movies before you understand what's going on. So yeah, just I. I think this movie is just gonna be okay. From from the looks of the trailer, it's gonna be like an okay movie, but uh, I don't think it's gonna do all that well. And like, it's kind of I don't know, sad. I, I'm playing. That's no turn up playing dinosaur game. Um, it's it's kind of sad to see that. Um, because you know DC can do a lot of good stories and. I don't, I don't know if this is gonna be that... I, I, I mean, it's probably gonna be, like, at least okay. Kinda like Blue Beetle was actually not that bad. It's just kinda plainfully generic. We'll get into the Blue Beetle episode. But it's just, it was just kinda plainfully generic. But it was still a pretty good movie. All things considered. And, you know, this might be the same. It might just be, like, pretty good or it might even be great. But, you know, we, we, we don't know. But, like, aside from that, um, the movie itself, uh, like, it looks good. The CGI is good, which probably going to bomb so they can't make it back that money. If it, if it doesn't bomb, I'll be pleasantly surprised. Like, genuinely. I'll be surprised if this movie doesn't underperform. But, like... The, the 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 comedy is there. Although I don't I don't know if the I don't know if the comedy should be here. Um, it seems like a very serious plot. This movie and you know it it uh it, I think it just needs um a bit more serious tone and yeah. Uh, what I saw something I like is that. It, I don't think it's gonna introduce a lot of new characters, and that's something that, I don't know, I, it, ah, fuck, um, I kind of like, um, this movie won't, uh, won't be, you know, super, like, they, it won't try to do something cool, or it won't do, try to do something, like, expand everything, like, that's something that, um, that, uh, um, that, that a lot of movies, a lot of superhero movies don't do, and, you know, now that the DCU is trying to, is trying to restart, I don't think you should, it's not a world building you should do, because, um, it's all gonna, be for nothing now that not even just a mo is gonna come back at Aquaman so keeping it kind of in its own pocket is kind of a good idea in general sorry for the interruption there I, I need to take a phone call I need to take a phone call and also something I found out accidentally is that uh, before I even 
when I cut uh, when I cut the video, uh, the, not the video, the the audio, I found out that Anchor, or well, not Spotify, or podcasters, I'm gonna call keep on Anchor. Anchor lets you um, continue a solo recording. Even after it's done, you can just continue recording from that same one, which means I did I I for like all of the solo episodes that I've had to cut, I could have not and and you know like there's like the in in in, in the episodes it's like this like dip when when uh when. Uh, like, like the, 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 the recording cuts and then there's a transition between the other recording and just like the background music I have now realized I n- that never had to happen and those and that's annoying to me I don't know if that's annoying for you guys but it's annoying to me and I've now realized for like the literal almost three years that I've done this podcast and almost two years almost almost also three years since I've done um, solo recordings that I have never had to do that. That I could have avoided that. And I, I it's still gonna it's gonna be, it's gonna be in the episode because I, I didn't know that until I literally just paused and thought about it. But yeah, uh, from now on, I'll keep that in mind that I don't need to do that. And just when I hit like pause on the recording, I can just go back. I can just still keep recording. I am so dumb. But anyways, back to Aquaman. I don't even know what I was saying. Um, oh yeah, uh, uh, Black Manta. I like that Black Manta is being used in this movie, uh, act like an as, as an actual villain, and not just and not only that. Like I, what I like is that they're bringing back. I, oh yeah, I was talking about how I like the fact that they're keeping the world. Um, Sort of in its like in its own little pocket because it's not gonna continue, it's not gonna matter. Oh yeah, and I mentioned that Jason Momoa was um I mentioned Jason Momoa was not gonna be Aquaman anymore. He's not. He's actually gonna be playing Lobo in the DC universe and DC universe and the DCU, not the DCCU, which it should have been called, but whatever. Um, but yeah. What else is there? Um, also, that they're bringing back Orm. Um, so Orm was Ocean Master, and I don't know. I don't know how to feel about them bringing back Orm. I don't. I, I don't remember a lot about the first movie. I watched it when it came out. Um, instead of Bumblebee, which is a, a mistake, because I like Bumblebee more. I remember Bumblebee more, but I don't remember what happens in the movie. Uh, I know that Orm leads. Um, like takes over Atlantis or something, and Aquaman has to stop him. Whatever he's like, he's like your normal villain. And you know something I actually did like about that movie is the fact that Orm is like the helmet of Orm, uh, Ocean Master's helmet. Like his eyes actually moved like they were in a comic, and his oh, and his costume was pretty comic accurate. So yeah, it looked goofy, but like a good kind of goofy. You know, it. I think it looked good back then. I don't know. I don't know if I rewatch it now. Um, it'll look different to me, but I, I've always liked it. And uh, yeah, I, I don't know about them bringing back or, uh, Ocean Master for this movie because you know I, I don't know if he did some atrocities back uh, in. In Aquaman, but I don't know if Aqu- I don't know if Aquaman would be that willing to to bring him back uh, as like an ally. I don't know. Just I mean, he didn't kill him, so I'm guessing he must sort of. I I, I don't know. It's just it's weird to me. I don't know. I. I I don't know who was it that threw, that threw Aquaman's mom into the abyss. Was it the trench? Oh yeah, the trench. But I'm guessing it was um, it was Ocean Master, and I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. 
I think that it's something that I wouldn't be so forgiving of. Um, but yeah, no, um, it's interesting to bring him back as an ally to Aquaman, and just, may maybe, may maybe he, he softens in the movie, I don't know, but he, he's back, and he's the, he's, he's gonna be, I guess, I don't know, comic relief, it's not, it's not gonna, this movie has to prove a lot, and I think, something I didn't mention is that, I think that it's gonna bomb because of two factors. One, it's the last movie in the DCEU officially. It's gonna, this is the last movie. It's gonna end everything for DCEU. Well, not gonna end everything, but it's gonna be the last entry. After The Flash especially not doing anything. So I don't know where this is gonna fit in. Um, I guess I'm doing a complete wipe. Aquaman's not a comeback, which is almost not a comeback. He's gonna come back as Lobo, but not as Aquaman. So, whatever. And, uh, Amber Heard. Yeah, no, I think this movie's gonna bomb because of Amber Heard. Um, this movie, I seem to be... A lot has come out about this movie in the last few weeks. I think a month. Uh, the last few weeks. It has a very troubled production. Yes, it has had a very troubled production. Mainly because of... Amber Heard. Um... But also, I mean, not because, not, not just, not like Amber Heard as troubled production, but because, um, because of literally Amber Heard. Um, apparently Jason Momoa tried to get Amber Heard off the movie, like kick her off himself. So, yeah, but then Elon Musk who, you know, was in cahoots with Amber Heard, um, literally threatened, threatened Warner Brothers to keep Amber Heard in. So, yeah, um, I don't think Gizmo wants to work with Amber Heard, and I think Amber Heard's scenes were very minimized because she is not in the trailer that much. She's like in one scene. So I'm guessing Amber Heard's role was very diminished in the final cut. Because they just don't want her there. They really didn't want Amber Heard in the movie. I mean, just a moment they didn't want it, but he's a producer. So, you know, he, he has some right to 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 what the movie can, what can be in the movie, what can not be. And they, he didn't want Amber Heard. So they were planning to kick her off. And it, it, so it's been a trouble production. And also, Amber Heard has a very, very, very bad public image uh, because of everything with Do Johnny Depp and her being—I I don't know—I I don't think she was proven guilty, but um, she, yeah, everything was like everything that happened with her and, I, and Johnny Depp was proven true at least. Uh, the sentencing was a long time ago. I mean, a long time, maybe like a year ago. So, yeah. Um, I, I don't know if... Th this movie's gonna bomb because of Amber Heard. But, I don't know. Maybe, maybe just a moment trying to get Amber Heard off of the project was, uh, was a good idea. Uh, it may, may, might save the movie. I don't know if it will, but it might, it might, it might not, I don't know, I don't know. It... I don't, I don't think it will. But if it does, I'll be pleasantly, I'll, I'll be pleasantly surprised. Generally. Uh, excuse me. Uh, it is 11 a.m. <laughs> uh, I'll be pleasantly surprised if it's anything like if the movie does anything it brings back any amount of money if I'm guessing like every one of these movies has had a very bad reputation I get minus minus um uh minus Blue Beetle Blue Beetle was just like Blue Beetle was wrong place wrong time 
that that was what Blue Beetle was. It was wrong place, wrong time. I'm so sorry, Solo. But yeah, at least you're, at least Solo's coming back as Blue Beetle, you know. But yeah, no, Blue Beetle was wrong place, wrong time. Um, Flash Bomb because of Ezra Miller, pretty much, kind of, literally fucking up everything. Um, uh, Shazam Bomb because no one want, nobody wanted to watch a Shazam, a Shazam movie, and Blue Beetle Bomb because it was, it was next in line, and this might bomb because I've never heard. So yeah, um, lots of things are happening that. Is going against this movie, and you know, maybe, may, may, maybe, maybe, it's not, it's just, there was a mistake to, there was a mistake to, uh, to even like do this. I personally, me personally, I would have released this movie on HBO Max. Because, I mean, or at least simultaneously release this on HBO Max, because at least people who don't want to watch it at the theater can watch it at home. And maybe it'll be a set like Godzilla vs. Kong. I don't know. I really don't know. This literally might just bomb Incredibly, and you know, I don't know. Just you know, it, it just, it, it just, I don't know. Just DC didn't deserve what's coming. DC, DC didn't deserve this. Shazam Two was pretty generic. It was, it was pretty generic, but it was like entertainingly okay. I guess it was like I think everything up to the ending was fine. I think the ending would just sucked, but everything was fine. Flash sucked. Flash was a, a whole of good ideas executed so badly that it, it it was astonishing. We haven't even gone to the Flash episode. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna cover Flash, definitely. We haven't gotten to there. Um, and then, and then there's, uh, Blue Beetle, which didn't deserve it. They didn't deserve it, man. They didn't, this that movie didn't deserve it. And Aquaman, which Amber Heard deserves it. Amber Heard didn't deserve to be in this movie. She deserves to be recast. But they kept her in here because Elon Musk is the most powerful man in the, in, in, in the fucking, uh, in the fucking world. And the most powerful billionaire in the goddamn world because he is fucking everything. So yeah, that's this movie. <laughs> that's what this movie is gonna be. Just a mess. And, you know, kind of a shame, really, because it doesn't look that bad. And, um, I don't know, just, it, I hope, in, in general, we're talking about the movie, that I hope that it, I hope it's good. That's all I can hope for because I know it's gonna bomb. I hope it's good. Because, I don't know, just, it looks like a solid movie. That's all I can really say about it, I think it looks like a solid movie. That... You know, I mean... Yeah, I wanna see, I wanna see Black Mantis as the main villain. I'm excited to see Black, Black Mantis as the main villain of this movie. But I bet that's cool. Um, and I, I don't know, just... Really weird. Also, something I gotta say is that the title makes no sense. What? This movie is not about a lost kingdom. It's about Black Manish. I think it should have been called Aquaman and the Black Triton or something. Instead of... Um... Instead of, uh... Aquaman Lost Kingdom, because there's nothing about the Lost Kingdom here. The Black the Black Trident turned all the kingdoms. The, the, the title makes no sense at all. I, I, I don't know what they were thinking. Even Aquaman vs. Black Manta would have been a better title. Or Aquaman 2. Come on. It would have been a much better title than whatever this movie was. Then what a title, whatever the hell they were thinking with this movie. Um, but yeah, just that. It's. I don't know, there's, there's, there's any ideas in here. I think 
They gave a lot of Ocean Master being a, a an anti-hero, I guess. I don't know if it's a dumb idea. I have to rewatch the Aquaman Aquaman one before I go into this movie. Because I gotta I gotta think if Aquaman I mean if if he kept him alive, yeah, but if he but if what I, I don't know. I don't know why Aquaman would wanna help out uh want Aqu Ocean Master to help out with Black Manta when Ocean Master contracted Black Manta. Maybe that's why I, I don't know. Also like that person in the in the post credit scene of the last movie, are they gonna be in here? I don't know. Just I'm glad that they're continuing on from from uh, from the last movie, and they're not just gonna bring in a whole new set of villains, like kind of like Sam did. But yeah, just that. So yeah, that's about it. Um, what do you guys think about the the Aquaman: The Lost Kingdom trailer? Now it came out a month ago, and it's probably not a lot of big news right now. But I, I want to hear what you guys think about it. So what do you think about it? That's I'm closing off. Again, plugging everything into here. Um, at media underscore buffet on Twitter or X or whatever you want to call it. I Twitter at the D eight entertainment about the E at the end uh, on Twitter as well. Um, if you're listening to this on the D eight entertainment YouTube channel, go check out media buffet bonus at media buffet YT. And if you're listening to this on Spotify, I also and. If also for, uh, go follow us on Media Fay Spotify. Uh, Media Fay on Spotify. And I have a podcast. So this, this Media Fay Media Media Fay us and Media Fay podcast are completely a completely different uh, podcast. It gets a bit confusing. You you know who it is. I think it's, you've seen the the, the 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 thumbnails and all that. And you know which episodes there. You know you know our style. And if you listen to this on the Media Fay podcast. Uh, Media Fay uh, Spotify channel. Go follow us on the D Entertainment channel at, at, at D Entertainment. This one with the E at the end. And for me, Mer at Mercury S Cheese on Twitter, and uh, at Mercury S C on YouTube. Also, at, also Mercury C Cheese on Twitch. Uh, yeah, I'm plugging my Twitch channel now. I'm I officially streamed there twice. <laughs> I was playing Spider Man with friends. Um, but yeah. So yeah, that's about it. See ya.